Hi everyone. Uh, now I am going to discuss about uh, some of the isometric projection, how to draw the projection on the computer by using solid edge software. So here in this problem, the given a hemisphere of 40 mm diameter, this hemisphere 40 mm diameter is placed on the vertex of the cone. So this is the vertex, vertex of the cone of base diameter 60 mm and height 60 mm. Okay. So, draw the isometric projection of the combination of the following. Hemisphere is placed such that flat face is facing upwards. First, you have to draw the cone of base diameter 60 mm, height 60 mm. Then, we will consider the hemisphere. We will see how to do here in this example. First, you have to consider the cone of 60 mm. For that, we need to draw the rhombus. The top view of the cone is a circle. If you enclose that in a box, you will get a square of 60 mm. Draw 60 mm rhombus first. This normal line 60 at 30, 60 at 150, 60 at minus 150, 60 at minus 30. You need to draw the rhombus. Then to draw the ellipse, what you have to do? Select this. Okay. From this point, uh, opposite midpoint, you have to draw a line. Again, from this point to opposite side midpoint, you have to draw a line. Again, from this point to opposite line midpoint. Again, from this point to opposite line midpoint. So, within this, you have to draw a ellipse. So, now use arc by center point. So, with visible line, so draw arc by making this point as a center of the arc and this length as a radius, draw the arc from here to here. Similarly, again, draw the arc from this point. By taking this length, you draw the arc. Similarly, so take the arc center as this intersection of these two lines as arc center, draw the arc from this point to this point. So do it repeatedly till you will get it on the, the arc on the left side like this. Similarly, you have to draw a arc by taking intersection of these two lines as a center of arc you have to draw it. So sometime it will not come so keep repeating till you will get like this you have to draw the base of the cone look at here the base of the cone is ellipse as well as top face of the hemisphere is also ellipse you need one more ellipse in order to get this, no need to do it again. You can scale down. This is 60 mm ellipse. This is 40 mm ellipse. You can scale down this 60 mm to 40 mm. For that, what I will do, I will copy this and place it somewhere here. Copy mode should be on. Copy and just place it some place on the left side or right side, wherever you are. So then, so construct the cone. How to construct the cone? From midpoint to midpoint you draw a line. So this line midpoint is the center of the base. From here you take 50 mm height. So 50 mm is the height of the cone. From this point what you have to do? With visible line, draw a line tangent to this arc. You see the tangent symbol? Like that you need to draw. From here to here. Tangent. Like this you have to then, so when the cone is tilted towards the observer, this line will not be visible, you tilt, you erase this. Similarly, this line is also not visible, you just trim this. And this is the vertex of the cone. On top of the vertex, you need to place a hemisphere. How to place it? So you know, the hemisphere diameter is 40. Okay. From vertex of the cone to center of hemisphere distance is, is equal to 20. That radius of the hemisphere is the distance between the vertex to center of here. Here you will get a ellipse, ellipse of so 40. Hemisphere top face will look like an ellipse. So that should be 40. So what you have to do? So draw a line from here to here. Okay. Now only you take the elliptical portion along with this center line, move from this center point and place it here. 
but i don't want 60 mm lcr what i want is 20 mm lcr so you can reduce here itself and then you can place or you can first place reduce here anyway you can do it. okay so what i will do i place this first and later i can scale down scale down this so i require dimension copy mode should be off because i don't want uh, two copies i want to reduce copy 40 is the required it is what you have is 60 you just give scale factor 40 by 60 and that will get 40 mm then what you have to do then you just delete this slide for time being okay so you need to convert only this portion you can delete this also no, no more it is required and you need to only left with uh, hemisphere boundary so hemisphere boundary should be drawn in true scale what you have to do up to this extent you convert into iso scale go to scale convert into iso scale 0.8165 convert into iso scale so then after converting this into iso scale from mid point of this slide to draw 20 mm with true length 20 mm at 90 in order to fix the third point of the arc when you are drawing arc by three points so this is the first point this is the second point now to fix the boundary of the hemisphere should be fixed at a distance of 20 mm now to fix this boundary you need to draw a 20 mm with true length like this and make this visible after you construct this you can trim the unwanted line. so this will complete the given problem right hemisphere is placed on on top of the cone hemisphere is placed on the vertex of the cone such a way that flat face of the hemisphere is facing that side this is the solution we move on to next problem the next problem will be so we will take this problem okay so in this problem you see a square prism base side 40 mm Height 50 mm. A square prism base side. This base is 40. Height is 50 mm. Is placed centrally on a cylindrical slab of diameter 100 mm and thickness 30 mm. Okay, diameter 100 mm and thickness 30 mm. Draw the isometric projection of the combination. First, we will construct the cylinder. Cylinder. Okay. And then on top of that, we will construct the square prism. Okay. Cylinder diameter is 100 mm. First, we construct 100 mm ellipse. Okay, so now you already constructed ellipse here. You can just enlarge into 100 mm, or else you can just uh, construct because it is new. Other problem, you can reconstruct that. Okay, so let's construct 100 mm rhombus first. 100 at 30, 100 at 150, 100 at 1 minus 150, 100 at 200, 100 minus 30. Construct the rhombus first. Then here, what you have to do with Same procedure. This line to opposite line midpoint. Make sure you are drawing to opposite line midpoint. And from here to opposite line midpoint. Again from this point to opposite line midpoint. From this point to opposite line midpoint. Just draw this line. Then take arc by center point. This point, this point as center of arc, draw the arc from here to here. So make sure this is visible line. And again from this point, draw arc from here to here. Okay, then so from the intersection of these two line as center of arc, draw the arc. Again from here also, from the intersection of those two line, draw the arc. So then, draw a line midpoint to midpoint here with thin line in order to locate the midpoint of the base. And you know, so this is base. I want to move this this ellipse and this center line in order to locate the top face center. I want to move this for a distance of 30. The cylinder height is given as 30. So I exact this. I am moving zero. Y axis 30. So just click and right click to exit. Okay. 
So anyhow, the top face is completely visible. In bottom face, this line is not visible. And you have to join from here to here. Tangent to this. Okay, like this you have to join. And this line should be visible. So then this line, uh, unwanted line would trim, this line is not visible, this line is not visible, this line is not visible, okay, this line is not visible, so trim this, then on top of the cylinder you have a square prism, square prism of say 40 mm side and 850 mm, you need to place it, you can construct square prism uh, other side, so just you construct here 40 mm at 30, 40 at 150, 40 at minus 150, 40 at minus 30. Okay, then so square prism of 40 mm, if the base 50 mm height, you move this from here, x axis 0, y axis 50. Move this, so then what you have to do, anyhow, uh, the base, these two lines are not visible from the base, you just uh, close this. To here, here to here, here to here. Close this. So then, what you need to do? I want to locate. This is the uh, midpoint of the top face of the cylinder. I want to take this midpoint. What I will do? So you can do two ways. You don't have all the lines I deleted. I will take the midpoint here only. The top face midpoint. Top face midpoint. I will take. What I will do? Here, from the midpoint here, I will take the height of 50 mm. Okay. So now, instead of placing bottom face midpoint, I will place top face mid midpoint only. Because I taken 50 mm line here. So you can move this from the midpoint of this top face and place that midpoint of top face at this midpoint. Okay. Like this. Then, once you done this, this is no more useful. You can delete this. And unwanted line you can trim like this, like this, like this. You trim unwanted line. Okay, so this is the solution for the given problem. Okay, then you scale down once you complete, you scale it to isometric 0 0.8163. Like this. So this completes the solution. If you want, you can keep this line or you, you can erase this line. If you feel it is disturbing, Good, you can erase this line. Okay. Like this. this is the complete solution. You can retain this line, no problem. So this is the solution. We'll go for next problem. Similar to this, we have one more problem here. You see, similar to this, you have a cylinder of 100 mm. 100 mm into 30 mm cylinder you have and top of that you have a frustrum of cone of base diameter 50 mm and top diameter 25 mm. You see a frustrum of cone base diameter 50 mm, top diameter 25 mm and height 50 mm. This is 50, this is 25, height is 50. Place it centrally on a cylindrical slab of 100 mm uh, diameter and 30 mm thick. You constructed base similarly. Similar to this problem, you can set base here also. Okay, so this new problem I will do this separately. Say 100 at 30, 100 at 150, 100 at minus 150, 100 at minus 30. You need to draw one ellipse, then rest of the thing you can move and scale down. Okay, so here what you have to do from here to opposite. Point you draw a line from here to opposite midpoint you draw a line from here to opposite midpoint you draw a line from here to opposite midpoint draw a line then this arc by center this point has a center of radius draw here to your line okay from the opposite end also So then, so from the intersection of these two lines, draw the arc here, here also draw the arc. 
So once you complete this, take the midpoint of this space, this base midpoint from midpoint to midpoint you are joining the line. This is the midpoint. Now what I will do, I will move only this ellipse for a distance of 30. So select this line also in order to locate the top face center. Move from this midpoint, x axis 0, y axis 30. Okay, move and place it. Okay. So then what you have to do, uh, unwanted line you can trim, this line is not visible and you can draw ear to ear, line, ear to ear, line. these two lines should be six lines, hold the control button to select multiple elements, make this visible and this portion of the line is not visible. Similarly, how you did in the previous column, you construct this. So once you construct, you can uh, trim the unwanted line. You retain this line because you need to locate this center. Okay. So once you construct, as you see here, uh, the cylinder portion is completed. Here you will get a prostrum of cone. Base diameter is 50, top face 25, and height 50. I need to construct uh, at the center of the uh, top face of the cylinder. I need to construct 50 mm. No need to construct this. Again, we already have ellipse. You can use this ellipse only. And uh, I will scale down. I will scale down from this point. Okay. And I want to return this as well as this. So, copy mode should be on here. So, you reduce to. Now, 100 mm ellipse you have. A required ellipse is 50. 50 divided by 100 you enter. Enter. You will get 50 by 100. Once you get, you just uh, right click to exit from that. So now what you have to do, so the base of the pressure of cone is created. Now you have to move this, okay, move this from the center. At what distance you have to move? Uh, while you are moving, you move along, along with that ellipse, you move the center line also. So in order to locate the top face center. You need to move for a distance of 50. Height is 50. Prestam of cone height is 50. X axis 0, Y axis 50. Like this you have to move. Move and place it. Then I don't want to retain this much only. Once you place it, right click to exit. So again selection is enabled. I don't want 50 mm ellipse here. I want 25 mm ellipse. Go for scaling. Scale this. Okay. So re required dimension is 25. What you have is so enter 25 by 50 okay right click so here copy mode is on that's why this also came what you do while uh, while you are reducing while you are scaling this make sure copy mode is off then you enter required 25 divided by 50 is the scale factor that will reduce to 50 so once you construct this you need to join year to year by tangent to this arc. By tangent symbol T. Like this you have to draw. So once you draw, uh, delete the unwanted line. This is not visible. This is not visible. So this is the complete solution. Once you get this, the entire thing you need, you need to convert into isosceles. Convert into isosceles. 0.816. Okay, so we will move on to next problem, I think this one, this one, so here, so it is quite simple, it looks simple, most of the cases you do mistake, so here because you, are, you get hemisphere boundary as well as sphere boundary, how you have to do, see sphere diameter 40 mm is placed centrally on the flat face of the hemisphere diameter 60 mm, hemisphere diameter 60 mm, okay. Sphere diameter 40 mm. You have to place a sphere on top face of the hemisphere. Let's construct hemisphere first. Okay. So how to construct hemisphere? As you all know, so when you enclose the uh, the top view of the hemisphere is a circle. When you enclose the circle, you will get rhombus. First construct the rhombus of 60 mm, 60, 30, 60, 150, 60 at minus 150, 60 at minus 30. So here you construct the ellipse. Here to opposite midpoint. 
this line to opposite midpoint this line to opposite midpoint and this line to opposite midpoint like this now you construct the ellipse like how you do in previous cases this once you construct the ellipse so what you have to do is you need to take this radial distance first to find out where is the center of the uh, this hemisphere top face this is hemisphere top face uh, find the center of top face so now on top of this you need to place a sphere of 20 mm So first take 20 mm radial distance, hemisphere top face to sphere center distance. That is equal to radius of the sphere. So diameter of the sphere is 40 mm, radius of the sphere will be 20 mm at 90. First you need to draw this line. So once you draw this line, what you have to do? Only convert this much into isosceles. Here this is very important key factor. Only first you draw the ellipse. Then take the radial distance 20 mm. So you have to convert this into isosceles 0.8164. Once you convert, so you have to draw a circle with this center only. So the outer the boundaries of the uh, sphere should be in true length. Draw a circle of 40 mm diameter. When you draw this circle, so what the examiner is looking at is the boundary of this should come below the center of flat surface of the hemisphere center this is the center point this boundary should come below the center point so now sphere is over, over flat surface is over you have to erase this within this you need to erase this. whatever inside the sphere you need to erase this. okay erase this then wait so now you need to draw the hemisphere boundary while you are drawing the hemisphere boundary use arc by 3 point so arc by 3 point so this is the first point above the uh, this mid point slightly above is like first point this is the second point you need to fix the third point somewhere if you fix here it will uh, not the boundary will not be in true length first you have to do Fix the point where you have to end the third point of the arc. Then you go for arc. Right click to exit from the arc. So what you have to do from this center? The hemisphere diameter is 60. So 30 mm boundary of the hemisphere comes at a distance of 30 mm from the center. You have to draw 30 mm with true scale. Okay. So 30 mm with true scale. This line is required to just fix the third point of the Uh, circle here at this point. Okay, now use circle by three point. This is first point. This is second point. Slightly above the center line, you have to use third point. You have to fix at a 30 mm true length distance. Here you need to fix. In order to fix that third point, you need to draw a 30 mm true length line. So this is the complete solution. So if you want, you can retain uh, the line. And you need to show this line. Okay, this um, midpoint should be there so that the examiner can see the boundary of the sphere will below this midpoint. Huh? And you can bring it inside this. This line also should be there in order to examiner will uh, come to know you drawn the 30 mm downward line. Then you fix the boundary of the. This completes uh, this problem. We we'll go for next problem. Next problem is this one. So here you see it's very simple one. Okay. So how to do it here? That there are two solids here. Okay. So the front view and side view is given. So you have to uh, make sure. Just consider this as first part and this as second part. You have to do this separately. So this is 
this first part if you concentrate only on first part so this is the length 15 mm is the length this distance is 15 mm this total distance will be 45 so length is 15 width is 45 and height is 60 you have to extract this dimension from this diagram 15 45 60 with that you need to construct the profile so 15 at a distance of 30, 45 at 150, 15 at minus 150, 45 at minus 30. Okay, then you need to, you know, so these two lines will not be visible. You can erase this. So then you can just uh, height is uh, say 60 mm. Okay, so you can you can do while uh, manual drawing. You can do like this. This time you can just uh, move this from this point for a height of 60 mm exact 0 y axis 60. So now while joining you can delete this line. Okay, so now you can join only these lines. This is the first solid. Like this you have to clear. Second solid we will see second solid dimension. Second solid is this one. Length is 60. Okay. Width is 25. Within this, uh, what you see the rectangle box, this is the width. Width is 25. 60, 25. Height is 15 mm. 60 into 25 into 15. Okay. So you construct somewhere else. Okay. So what is length? 60, 15. Uh, sorry, 60 at an angle. 30. Second. 60. 60 is the length at an angle 30 second one width is 25 25 at 150 again 60 at minus 150 25 at minus 30 okay then you have to take this and height is 15 mm from this point you take 15 mm height x axis is 0 y axis 15 mm click and so let's uh, don't delete anything at this point of time. When you place this, then you can come to know which line you need to delete. So within this, so now what you have to do? Select this. Okay, move from the midpoint of this line, this line, baseline. Okay, baseline, midpoint, this line, midpoint point of this line and place it on the midpoint of this line. Like this. Once you place this no more useful you can delete. We are within this this is the top face square within this line uh, whatever the line will come you can erase and within this whatever comes you can delete within this and within the side face you can delete. So this is the final diagram it should come like this and the Scale down this to 0 0.8164. Like this. Okay. So next we will go for next problem. This is pentagon. You see a cone of base diameter 45 mm and height 65 mm placed centrally on top face of a pentagonal prism. Side 45 mm and height 35 mm. So here in this problem, cone of 45 mm diameter and 65 mm height is placed on top face of pentagonal prism of side 45 mm and height 35 mm. Here you have a pentagonal prism of side 35 mm and height, sorry, side 45, height 35 mm. On top of this, placed a cone, cone of base diameter 45, height 65. Base diameter 45, height First, you need to construct a pentagon. So, when pentagon or hexagon problem comes, okay, what you have to do? You need to construct the pentagon in order to know what is the box dimension that encloses the pentagon. You need to construct that pentagon in a, in a plane sheet, like orthographic position, just construct the pentagon. So, pentagon side is 45 at 0, 45 at 72. 45 at 72 into 2, 45 at 72 into 3, 45 at 72 into 4. 
here. So 45 at 0, 45 at 72, 45 at 72 into 2, 45 is in then at 72 into 3, 45 at 72 into 4. So consider the pentagon, rotate for the convenient position. So make this line vertical. Like this. While rotating, copy mode should be off. I want this position. Place it like this. Then you need to draw the box that encloses the pentagon. See, from this point to draw a horizontal line, from this point to draw a vertical line, extend this vertical line, extend from here, extend horizontal line, from here, extend horizontal line, extend vertical line, from here, extend vertical line, from here, extend horizontal line. Like this, we have to construct the box. In order to know the dimension of the box enclosure the pentagon. So once you construct the box, let's do naming to the box so that you can easily understand. So let's this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. Similarly, for pentagonal face, just name this as A, small a, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is Okay, so now we need to know what is the box dimension. So go to distance between, select distance from this point to this point. So this dimension is 72.81. Similarly, you want from here to here. This, this is 69.25. So what you have to do, you have to construct the rhombus with this dimension, 72.81 and 69.25. I am pivoting this one point. Let's uh, move this to left extreme position so that you have sufficient space on the right side. So, copy mode should be off. You can place it here. Okay. So, construct the rhombus in order to draw a pentagon using that. So, first dimension is 72.81 at 30 degree. Second dimension is 69.25 at 150 degree. Okay. So again, 79 point, sorry, 72, this is not 79, 72.81, 72.81, 72 at minus 150, 72 point, sorry, next line is 69.25 at minus 30. Okay, this line should be L, say 72.81, this line should be 69.25. This line again 72.81. This line 69.25. Like this you draw. Within this you have to construct the pentagon. So here for better understanding you name this 1 and this is 2, this is 3. In exam you don't need to name, uh, name just for your understanding. 1, 2, 3, 4. In between 1, 2 you will get A point. Where you will get A point? Exactly at the midpoint, you will get the A point. Midpoint of 1, 2 line, you will get a A point. Here. Where you will get B point, you need to measure where the B point will be. From here to here. At what distance? 26.45. That is equal to here to here distance. Here to here distance. 26.45. Okay. So use arc by center. From 2 to 3, from 2 to 3, at 26.45 distance, you will get B point. Similarly, from 1 to 4, at 26.45 distance, you will get 26.45 distance, you will get B point. Okay. <coughs> Similarly, from 3 to 4 at a distance of this, so what is this distance? 13.91, you will get C point. Select arc by 3 point, arc by center point. So 3 to 3 distance will be 13.91. At 13.91, you should draw a arc. 
<coughs> Similarly, from four to three, at a distance of thirteen point nine one, same distance, other side also, you will get point three. Okay, so just you join this. So this is A point will be mid point here. B point will be here. Intersection of these two points. So in order to get end point, you can trim one side of the arc so that you can easily get the end point. So then you have to join this line with visible line. So mid point, A point is the mid point between one to two. Then this is B and this is C. This is D. This is E and this is A. So just consider this as top face. Okay, I don't want to. You can do like both way, uh, or else what you will do regular procedure. <coughs> so what I will do? Select mid point to mid point here with thin line. So the, the side of the pentagon is 45. The height of the pentagon is 35. Okay, height of the pentagon is 35. to select this as well move this so on top of this you need to construct cone of uh, 45 mm dia and 65 mm height so you required space at the top you better move downward only at what distance the height of the pentagonal prism is 35 you just x axis 0 y axis i give minus 35 enter click the topping mode should be on by moving make sure topping mode should be on Move this. Copy mode should be on from the midpoint of this line. Move x axis zero, y axis minus thirty five. Okay. In top, you will not able to see these two lines. You can delete and then corresponding corners you can here to here, here to here, here to here, here to. Here. You just join this and those. Vertical line should be fixed. Make this fixed. So this is the pentagonal prism. So here you need to construct the ellipse. Okay. So uh, sorry, uh, cone you need to construct. Cone of base diameter 45, height 65. Cone of base diameter 45, height 65. So let's construct the cone some some other place. So 45 mm uh, rhombus will construct first with the normal line. Within that, you can construct ellipse. 45 at 30, 45 at 150, 45 at minus 150, 45 at minus 30. So here you need to construct ellipse inside this. So cone base is a ellipse. From this point to opposite mid point, from this point to opposite mid point. So then, with the arc by center point, with visible line, construct the ellipse. By this time, you are most familiar. You run so many problem. Draw the arc. <coughs> From the intersection of these two lines, draw the ellipse. Then height is 65 mm with normal line. First, you find out what is the center by drawing. <coughs> Mid point to mid point, a line. So once you draw that, then you draw the height, height of 65 mm. Okay. So then this is the visible line. You join here to tangent to the arc. Like this, you have to join tangent to the arc. Then unwanted line you can trim and trim the. But then what you have to do? Copy this. 
when move this from the midpoint of the base this is the midpoint of the base that has to be copy mode should be off now that has to be coincide with midpoint of this pentagonal top face midpoint like this so within this you can trim <coughs> So now you finish the problem. Uh, here you can see cone on top of the pentagonal figure. Then what you have to do? Scale down. In the end, don't forget you should scale down from any fixed point. You can scale down from here itself. Scale down to 0.8164. Copy mode should be off. More problem here. A cube of side 40 mm is resting centrally on hexagonal prism. Base side 40 mm and I 50 mm. Hexagonal prism, base side 40 mm and I 50 mm. Okay, first you construct hexagonal prism of base 40 I 50 mm on top of that you need to place a cube. Okay, so let's. Hexagon of first you have like pentagon, you need to find out box encloses the hexagon. First construct the hexagon. Hexagon of 40 mm side. Hexagon base side 40, height 50 mm. Construct the hexagon. Hexagon of 40 at 0, 40 at 60, 40 at 120, 40 at 180, 40 at 240, 40 at 300. So place as I uh, told you in hexagonal pentagonal place, pentagonal problem, you place less than the left, left side, like this you have to confirm. So then move this little bit up, so you have enough space to construct the isometric version. Then draw the box that encloses. Unwanted lines. Okay. So then do the naming like in your pentagon problem. Do the naming. One, two, three, four. Here you can see one advantage you have here is so let's find the one to two distance and this is the other distance. 80 and 1 to 4 distance. You will see this one 59.2. You can see, say this is A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So here you can see if you measure one distance from this point to this point, this is same 20 mm, same here, 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 as well as here. And these two points are comes at the midpoint of 1 to 4 line and 2 3 line. Okay. So what you have to do now, first you have to construct the rhombus of 80, 69.28, 80 at 30, 69.28 at 150, 80 at minus 150, 69.28 at minus 80, like this. Within this you need to construct the pentagon, okay, so this is say this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4. Okay. So here, from 1 to 2, you have 2 points. Okay. So this A is at a distance of 20 mm. So cut the arc at a distance of 20. Again, from the other side also, at 20 mm distance from 2, you will get one more point. Similarly, from 3 to 4 also, we will get 20 mm distance, we will get 1 point. And again, from 4 point, you will get 
at 20 mm thickness you will get one more point like this you will get and trim the one end of the arc for to join this and then what you have to do so this is say a point with visible line you draw this hexagonal profile a to b c point will be midpoint of two three lines and here fine so this point is midpoint of four one line So then what you have to do, find out the center of top face of this point, from this point to opposite line this point. This is the center. So similarly how have you taken, this is 40 mm is the side dimension, height of the hexagonal prism is 50. So take hexagonal prism height 50. So what you have to do, just select this hexagonal portion along with this center line. Move from this point, move x axis 0, y axis minus 50. Right, this minus 50. Like that, place it, copy mode in the R, place it right click. These three lines are not visible, it will be this. So then, corresponding corners you should join with visible lines. So we are to here. We are to here to here, here to okay. So on top of the hexagonal prism, you will get a cube, 40 mm cube. It's very simple cube drawing. Uh, what you have to do? Construct the cube somewhere else. So 40 at 30, 40 at 150, 40 at minus 150, 40 at minus 30. <coughs> Take the this this so height of zero. The cube side and height will be same. Zero height is forty. Click right click set. You know these two lines are not visible. You can delete and you can join the corresponding corner. Then. In order to place, uh, you don't have base midpoint, what I can do is, I can select the top face midpoint to midpoint, I will select from the top face. Okay, so top face, at what distance you need to place top face? So from here, the height is 40 mm. Height of the cube is 40 mm. 40 at 90, you draw a line. And uh, place this center of top face center of top face while moving copy mode should be off center of top face we place it on this point now within this this line is not visible and this part of the line is not visible and here slightly it's not visible you can zoom and check not visible similarly here also it's not visible once you done then you have to scale down into ISO. ISO scale. You can scale it from any pixel point. Need not to be any point, you can scale down. 0 0.8164. Like this. So you can trim inside lines, these lines you can trim. Is the final solution on top of the hexagonal prism cube is placed. Okay, this will complete the isometric graph. So, I will uh, explain tray problem if you need, you can just see tray problem also. I will explain in this. Okay, so here uh, the given uh, draw the development of tray both top view and front view are as shown in the figure. Okay, this. Uh, in the tray, this is the top view of the tray, this is base which is parallel to XP, it is two dimension 40 mm square and these are inclined side spaces. Okay, top is 60, bottom is 40, height is 20. You need to construct only this profile, you know, no need to write this in exam. Okay, I will construct a screen here. Insert, select. 
contact ray portion the top face is 60 60 mm or 0 and then what you have to do take the normal line from the midpoint of this take 20 mm height 20 at minus 90 from this point the base width is 40 you take 20 mm this side and 20 mm other side then just close this. Then draw the projection line from here. Just extend this projection line. Now this line seems to not join properly. the projection line from here, draw the projection line from here, extend this XY line, extend this XY line. So then take uh, the rectangle option, you can directly draw, you know base is 40 mm square, 40, 40 at 0, you draw the 40 mm square, you place it little bit down. So draw 40 mm square, then what you have to do, take a line, this normal line, so take 10 mm above this, 10 mm line at 90 degree, just extend this in horizontal line on either side. Similarly at the bottom also from this point you will take 10 mm below, extend this, like this. Now what you have to do? Use arc by center point from this point at the center of the arc, this point, and draw arc of this line. Okay, similarly on the other side also, this are center of arc, draw the arc of this line. So you have to extend this arc till here, and then extend till further up to here. Okay, so then what you have to do? You will get one side face. The intersection of arc line extension and 10 mm line extension is the point where the edge will come. So you can trim one end, so you will get easily end point. So from here to here, the side face will be extended to here. This is one of the side face of the tray. Like this, you have to find side face on all four directions. Here, 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 here. So on the other side also, similar to this, we extend the arc projection line. Okay, this thin line we need to extend this. Then trim this. So the 10 mm extension, 10 mm line, and this uh, arc extension line intersect at this point. From here to here, you will get a side face like this. Okay, you will get two side faces. Then what you have to do, use arc by center again. Uh, use this point as a center of arc. You need to cut with this distance, you need to cut to this point. This arc should be in line. <coughs> So this point is center of arc, with this distance you need to cut arc till here. Then what you have to do, with visible line, just extend this point to this point, up to this point. And then just close here to here. This is the third side of the tray. Similarly on the opposite side also like that. So draw an arc from this point, this length as a radius, you just extend line, this thin line, up to this line, so then with visible line, extend from this point to this second line, ok, so here you will get second line, if you extend this line, you just close this, like this you will get, so if I use extend the next, you can extend this line, so this is the development tree of ray. So this is the base 
40 mm square side face all four side faces are equal okay so i hope you understand all the problems you need to uh, practice this very well these are very important problem for exam purpose thank you by this i will end this session thanks for so practice well all the best for your exam